Each year, 300 Rock County High School students are identified as unaccompanied homeless youth. These youth are unable to live or live safely with a parent or guardian. For many of these kids, the 16 hours and 49 minutes between school ending one day and beginning the next are long, lonely, scary, and at times, dangerous. I started transitioning and my parents actually didn't like that at all. It was either stop or get out. Um, I've had instances where I stayed with family who I ended up not trusting after, who threatened my life. I've stayed with um, friends who no longer are friends to this day. I've stayed places where my face was getting bit up by bed bugs. It was a really big argument. I just, I got fed up, went to the school. I had no idea what I was doing and where I was going. I actually didn't like it when people, significant others, would make advances towards me. That was the worst for me. I was so exhausted from the stress and everything from trying to graduate early. The uncertainty is what's so hard to live with because how are you supposed to be sure in yourself and going to school when you don't even know where you're going to eat or like go to sleep that night? It was like just thrown out there like I didn't know what to do. I, don't, I didn't know how to be an adult at 16. In February 2014, the Robin House Transitional Living Home had its grand opening. Since opening, the Robin House has benefited 49 young women. The Robin House has provided these young women with safety, support, opportunity, and hope. I came in June of 2015. I had somewhere to stay rather than jumping from friend to friend or living with family members. It was somewhere safe and stable. I'm still living on people's couches was just very hard for your mental health and now uh, you're not, like this, when I was able to come here, it was like a safe haven. It was able to be, I mean, yeah, you have rules, yeah, you're, it's temporary, but they know that you have a place to go. So being here it allows you to just not focus on that and just go to school, do the simple things, <laughs> go to school, go to work, graduate. And, The Robin House is more than a roof. It's a place to heal, learn, and grow, to take control of one's life, and to start on a new path forward and upward. After ending its operations, the former Goshen Children's Home generously donated its property to Project 1649 granting us an amazing opportunity to further our mission. Renovations are currently underway to open a second transitional living home to serve our young men. The boys' home will have four bedrooms with eight beds. I'm still trying to find a second job. I'm just kind of sticking it out till I'm 18 and then I'm gonna go up north and work for my dad up at Tech Roofing. I go to the University of Wisconsin Whitewater, so I am a junior there now, international studies major. Um, I graduated high school early, so I mean, from then I thought culinary school or cosmetology, and I can't cook. These stories and dozens more like them would not be possible without the strong support of our community.